Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can generate the refresh token and access token from the code. So now the time is to get this access token. So we already got this access token, but I'm going to generate it once again. Why? Because this access token is valid for only one hour. So you can check this from here expire in 3600 seconds, right? So we can use this refresh token all of the times and generate the new access token, right? So how to generate this? So let's go to the documentation back again. And here we need to first let me find where it is. Generate access token from the refresh token. So this is the request. So you need to type refresh token, client ID, client secret, redirect URI and this token, right? So let's copy this one and go back. So let me uh, close this out, uh, not this one. Let me make this correct, close this one. So let me save this for you. So this one is the dot uh, refresh token. We refresh token. So I'm going to add this in the collection what is the zoho collection so save this one so it will come back and yes it's there right so now i'm going to click on this import and import this one again this one right so copy this one and click on this raw text and paste it here and click on this continue and yes it's open this url uh, this one and now it's going to fill up uh, these params for us so click on this import and yes, it's filled the param. So let's click on this body and yes, these are there. So let me save this for now it's a access token. So in the collection, I'm going to add this in the Zoho collection that will run here, right? So now our, this uh, URL is there and our params are there. So here we need to first enter the refresh token. So in the previous video, we got this refresh token. So let me copy this and paste it here. And then you need to type the client ID and client secret. So let me enter them. Go back, not this one. So let me open the proper, proper this page and go back and enter the client ID and then client secret. Copy this one, paste it here, and then you need to type the redirect URI. Go back, copy this redirect URI, and type this here, right? So now the time is to generate the access token, right? So let's click on this send, so it will generate us a refresh a access token from this refresh token. So let's click on this send, so this refresh token will never expire right so now it's generated as only access token right so we can generate every time we can generate the access token from this refresh token so this refresh token will never expire but this access token will be expired in one hour right so we are going to use this access token so let's copy this and uh, go to the sublime text editor and paste this here so we are going to use this in our request so we successfully generated our access token so in the next video, we are going to use this access token to the get the resource. So let's go to the documentation. So here, here we got the token, right? So what is the next step? So calling an API. So you need to give it a read. Access token can only pass in the header section and can't be passed in the request param. So if you are a developer, you already know that you need to pass this in the headers because it's a authorization. So what are the headers? So you need to pass these two headers. The first one is authorization and second one is access token. And then you can get the uh, get the resource like if you want to get the customers, so you can get the customers. If you want to get the subscription, so you can get the subscription. So in the next video, we are going to cover this. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.